Uh, but first, I want you to meet Morgan Harper Nichols, everybody. She is an amazing poet. Look at that hat and that little, okay, she looks so cute in that picture too. She's an amazing poet, a musician, um, an artist whose social media presence has earned the devotion of millions, including celebrities like Reese Witherspoon and Jennifer Garner. Earlier this year, Morgan announced she was autistic, and that sparked a conversation on diagnosing um, autism in adults. You don't hear that, you know, as much. Um, and so she's also out with a new book called How Far You Have Come. Let's get her in here. What's up, Morgan Harper Nichols? How you doing? <laughs> Hello, hello. Thank you for having me. I'm doing well, I'm doing well. Oh my God, you look great. I love the like handkerchief here. You're so oh, cute. Yes, it's awesome. You. So you're a very successful artist, but until this diagnosis, you really struggled, right? Yes, so I grew up struggling with a lot of um, sensory issues, but I didn't know that's what they were. I would just feel overwhelmed in settings with loud music or bright lights, and I never knew why. And then I also struggled a lot with making friends and in social situations with like even listening and understanding tone of voice, but I didn't know what any of this was. And I spent my whole childhood up until recently not knowing. So, yeah, it's a bit of how, how that came about. <laughs> I can only imagine how that would have, you know, really crippled you socially, you know, growing up and not knowing how to, you know, having any tool, yeah. I guess, to get through that, those emotions and that, those hardships. So is this true, though, that a TikTok video led to your diagnosis? Yes, it was. I was on TikTok and for some reason the algorithm decided to show me stories, like back to back stories of women who had been diagnosed as adults. And I was like, wait a minute, I don't know anything about this, but they so it sounds like they're describing my whole life. So that is what gave me the courage to get on Google and find a specialist in my area. And thankfully I was able to find someone. So yeah, that's what led me to be able to get diagnosed. Wow, a TikTok, who would have thought? That's amazing. Um, so, well, you have a new book, um, and first I have to show people how beautiful it is. It is just such a beautiful oh, book. Thank um, you. I mean, the art in it, like, it's so pretty. Um, so can you tell us about this? Like, what made you want to do this book? Yeah, so I am a visual artist and a poet, and especially over this past year, like many people, I haven't been able to do a lot of the things that I love to do. I love to go places and see new things. So art for me has been a way of really just expressing gratitude for what has been beautiful about my story, what I have, how I have learned, how I have grown. And I just think that we all need these moments right now more than ever of just having gratitude for how far we've come. So I hope that the poetry and art in this book can help people reflect on that. Yeah, I love the message, too, because a lot of people always say how far we need to go. Um, and I actually, my therapist told me this yeah. <laughs> recently, TMI. Um, but it's like I always focus on, oh, God, I still have to do this. I have to do this. I really. And she's like, why don't we look at, like, where you've come from? Like, you know, like from this point to this point, like, and it's an amazing thing. Um, but I think a lot of us, some of us maybe perfectionists. So um, but <laughs> how far you have come by Morgan Harper Nichols, y'all. It's out right now. If you can't get yourself a physical copy, it is beautiful. Um, thank you so much, Morgan, for sharing your story with everybody. Oh, well, thank you for having me. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. Yep, I'm still here, just waiting for you to subscribe. If you don't, I'll be trapped in this box forever.